Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be replacing the cabin air filter on an M3F80. The cabin air filter is located in the passenger side footwell area. This is the OEM part number. So to start, we're going to get two 10 millimeter nets removed underneath the panel. You're going to find them one here on the left side and then one more right here on the right side. Just go ahead and take both of those out, set the nuts to the side, and now we're going to be able to grab the panel and pull it down by hand. Just like this. You're going to find two connectors, one for the cigarette lighter. This one came off when I removed it and then one for the light. Go ahead and unplug both and pull the panel away. Next, further in, you'll see the housing for the air filter. You're going to have two T20 screws here and here. Go ahead and remove both. Set the screws to the side. And you're going to have one clip in the back and one in the front. Start with the clip in the back. It'll undo just like this. And then the other one undo. And then you can pull down the rest of the cover. And the filter will come right out. Now the filter is directional, so when you pull it out, you'll notice the arrow. So the arrow for this filter is going to be pointing towards the front of the car. So when we replace it, just remember that the filter points to the front. So once we get the new filter in place, start putting it in. And once it's installed, just double check that arrow. Make sure it's pointing towards the front. And here's the arrow. Now one thing to note, this housing cover does have two pins, one here on the right and one here on the left. These pins are for the cover and here's the cover. So you're going to have one hole right here for the screw and one hole right next to it for the pin. And over here is the screw and right behind it is for the pin. So when you put this cover on, just keep those pins in, in mind. They go in fairly easy. You see the pins go through the holes, clip in those two clips, and now we can put in the screws. Torque on these screws is very low, so just uh, screw it down till it bottoms out and you'll be good. Then we just got to put the cover back on, the housing, and then the bottom panel has this anchor right here that's going to sit on top of this. So just when you go to install this, make sure you keep this part right here in mind. This goes on top and on, on the left side, there's another anchor and that goes in the hole. This little tab on the left side, you need to be mindful when you go up that it goes behind the panel on the left side. So once you got the two anchors in place, put it up and you'll see the top here has three clips. Just go ahead and push those clips up, pushing them in by hand, and you're all done. So I'm going to be posting two more videos regarding the M3 F80. Keep a lookout for those two videos. They're going to be for the engine air filters and as well as the spark plugs. I'm going to have a link posted at right here at the end of the video for this one, as well as in the pinned comments. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you found some value in these videos, and I'll see you in the next one.